Yeah, the biggest challenges um, that, that the government agencies are facing right now, I would say, would be delivering uh, citizen services faster. Um, the expectations from the citizens are higher because they're more, they're expecting more. The, especially if you see the conversations we are having around AI, uh, they're more aware of it. They know that they can be delivered faster. So they're expecting the same. The private sector is doing it and they're expecting the same from the government sector. Uh, the challenge is though, as a government body, those operators need to be responsible as well. They can't just go ahead and do that. So I think the biggest challenge is being able to deliver services faster, but do that in a responsible manner. Yeah, excellent question. So IBM's products and services help uh, government citizens to deliver services faster and to do it in a responsible manner because we have products that go way into the past and we have accumulated a lot of knowledge around how governments work all over the world. So we understand the important aspects around government services such as security. Uh, reliability, trustworthiness. So in all the products and services that we deliver, we try to incorporate that. And apart from that, we have an excellent branch of research going on. And we try to bring those innovative ideas and capabilities to all our products. So you can see it with our AI products, with our security product, and we are in the forefront in quantum computing. So all these novel innovative solutions, uh, that's the way that we bring a capability to government services. So the highlight of the experience at Innovate New South Wales was the fact that I could meet lots of clients come together uh, and also uh, the clients sharing their experience from different angles. So we met with education, uh, with transport, with New South Wales Police, and they have maybe different sort of problems at some level, but all of them come together to similar themes around um, how do we do innovation faster? Uh, how do we make services accessible to everyone? And how do we do that in a secure manner? So having that different perspectives, but also a common set of problems to focus on is very interesting.